Let's get magical. Hello, my darlings. Today, I'm taking you to the magical adventure of the most famous wizard of modern times, Harry Potter. Hosted by my amazing friend, La Parsha, creating it myself. If you haven't visited her channel, please do so. She's creating amazing things. Any kind of home decor you like, she's amazing. And on top of that, in this challenge, she's giving away $50 Amazon gift card. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on. And plus, don't forget to visit the whole playlist of my amazing creators. DIY number one. I'm going to create one of the Harry Potter book. Let's say Harry Potter and the Chambers of Secrets. I have this fall book from a thrift store. And uh, after I clean it up, I'm painting it with a white a Waverly chalk paint just to cover the top, just like so. Going with a brush. And after all that is done, I'm gonna use those uh, pieces from a calendar that I purchased from Walmart that have all the Harry Potter adventures in there. So I took a couple of pieces of it and I cut them off and I'm gonna de decoupage them on my book with a Mod Podge. I'm just going through the book just to see what kind of picture I can use. For each day of this year, they have either a pictures or a quotes from the novels. Very interesting. So I'm just going through so I can see just like that. Cutting some quotes as well. Harry Potter is a story of a young wizard and his friends who are students at Hogwarts School of Witchcrafts and Wizardy and they're fighting, struggling against Lord Voldemort who is a dark wizard. So you guys have a good wizard and a bad wizard. So you guys should watch it. I haven't watched most of them. I watched a couple of them, but they're very interesting. So yeah, my book is almost done. I'm just decoupaging it and make sure everything is on place. And look how cute it looks. With those open pages, it came out perfectly vintagey, magical. I'm just loving it. I also added a mud patch on top of the pictures so uh, we can make a good coat of it. And uh, the book is almost done. I'm adding a elephant uh, chalk paint just to make it like a rustic look on the book and throughout the pages as you can see. Just a dry brush in it, just a little bit, little coat. Next I'm replacing that old tassel with a new one black one i'm just gonna remove the old one and i'm gonna glue a black new one that i have and the book is done we're moving to DIY number two. I'm making one of those houses of the Hogwarts school. You guys choose whatever you like. I paint it out with elephant chalk paint and after it's dry, and I also paint those uh, popsicle sticks that I cut on half as well. I'm gonna need them to build the castle. And on top, I'm just gluing those black stones from Dollar Tree so we can make it like an actual Harry Potter castles. It can be Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, or Ravenclaw. You choose. <laughs> I don't know much about Harry Potter, but I hope I keep you entertained while I'm creating all those interesting, uh, beautiful creations. And the first portion is done. As you can see, it looks perfect to me. And now I'm going to try to connect it with the second plaque with the help of those popsicle sticks. I'm just going to glue some part on top and then on the sides. And actually, we're going to use this uh, castle as a beautiful lantern. And it's going to look really beautiful. You're going to see at the end. 
So I'm just connecting those popsicle sticks like I said, one on top, two on the each side. On top of that popsicle stick, I'm adding more stones. I'm gluing them with a hot glue, just like so. And now the left popsicle, I cut it on half and I'm gonna put it on the each side, just like that. And I'm also adding stones on two of those popsicle sticks as well. That's gonna represent our roof. And I'm leaving it open like this so we can add a LED candle inside. I'm using a lighter just to get rid of the uh, pieces of the glue. And that's it. And look how pretty it looks. DIY number three. I'm using a black sphere and those two leaves from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna make a golden snitch. I painted with a folk art a gold metallic uh, paint and look how pretty it looks. I really love this gold folk art paint and uh, I'm just removing it with a sander that uh, there's so much glitter on those leaves and I, I'm trying to remove them before I paint those gold as well. So after I remove that I'm painting it with a sponge brush as well. The golden snitch or simply called snitch it's a small gold colored sphere who's flying around Quidditch field at high speeds. So the seeker's goal is to catch the snitch before the other team seeker, which is worth 150 points. And the game can only end when the snitch has been caught. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean, go ahead and watch Harry Potter so you know what I'm talking about. For the giveaway, you gotta have to watch the whole place at least. You gotta like and comment. And we all gonna have a magical word. So each creator in each video, they're gonna have a magical word. My magical word will be the sorting hat. So please, when you're done finishing watching my video, watch the rest of the playlist and make sure you enter for the giveaway. And good luck! So when all my pieces are painted and dry, I'm gonna glue them and I'm gonna put them together. And like I said, we're gonna create the golden snitch. So I'm gluing those two pieces, those two golden leaves on top of the sphere and it should be done. And I think I did a good job, what do you think? For my last DIY, DIY number four, I'm using the sorting hat. I'm gonna, I took one of those hats from Dollar Tree and I got those uh, yarns from, um, purchased from Hobby Lobby on sale and I'm just gonna glue them. I'm just gonna make that sorting hat who was a magical hat at Hogwarts that determined which of the four schoolhouses each new student belongs to. So that's what I'm doing for my last DIY. Super easy, super quick, and super cute for this theme. I'm also adding a black rope on the side of the head, and I'm putting two lines of that rope on the bottom of the head as well, and our magical head, sorting head is done. And here is the final look for all the magical creations that I created. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to visit La Parsha along with our amazing playlist with my amazing friends. And before I let you go and so you can see my final reveal, I want to tell you that you know happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. And until next time, I'm sending you lots of love, lots of music, positive energy, from me to you. Bye-bye.